mom crunches. everybody, Dale and Leanna from Moments of Adventure and we are in Lake McConaughey, Nebraska this week and I started the week with two crutches and I went down to one and now I am crutch free. Yeah, I can't believe it. After three weeks, three weeks of hip surgery, three weeks yeah. ago and now I was able to get into the water yesterday which was very exciting so I feel like I've accomplished things. Yeah. So here we are at Lake McConaughey in Nebraska. I am doctor's ordered stranded to the beach. She said I was allowed to beach drink, so that's what I'm doing. But because of uh, my surgery I had, from my injury on the cruise ship, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. You don't actually see my injury, but that's where it happened. Um, I am on a crutch and I can't get wet. It's very sad. But the lake is still beautiful. And I can enjoy the water, and I am enjoying the water, and it's beautiful water. Perfect for an afternoon after work. I do concur. Um, but we had a great time in Lake McConaughey this week again. We used Chris the tractor guy. Here we are at McConaughey. We are waiting for the tractor to come down and pull our trailer down. We are headed down there. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Beach, beach, beach. Water is really, really low. Yeah, he pulled us down. Um, just update again, 110 bucks for both ways. Um, so one charge, he takes you down, no mess, no fuss. You don't get stuck because plenty of people got stuck this weekend. They <laughs> sure did. Including myself <laughs> twice. <laughs> um, but he puts you exactly where you wanna go and goes and then comes back and gets you um, when it's time. The water's down a little bit, so there's a lot of beach area this year. Super great for beach camping. Beach camping does cost $20 a night, plus your park entrance fee. We went ahead and uh, got a year long pass, which was $60 um, because we were here for a week and it just mathematically made sense. By the way, if you're planning a trip to Lake McConaughey and don't want it super crowded, I would suggest coming Monday through Thursday because the weekends get very, very crowded. Even if you have beach designated camping, day campers come by and it's very crowded. But yeah, great time, water, perfect temperature. I think the jet ski said it was about 77 degrees in the water. We had both nice jet skis in the water this time. They Yay. worked, they worked. We had uh, a <laughs> little bit of issue on one of them. I think the starter's going out, but that's that's not a big deal. We can take care of that. Um, oh. But if anybody wants to buy a couple of jet skis, it's gonna... Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> we also had our paddle boards out, which were great. A megalodon. Now, if you don't know what a megalodon paddleboard is, it is ginormous. It is huge. 12 feet long by four feet across. He had, he put his lawn chair on his paddleboard and went <laughs> riding. Hilarious. And how many of you girls got up I on the I believe there were six of us women who got on the paddleboard. And then we had five of us that stood up. I was able to do it. <laughs> a little nerve wracking, but I did it. Um, super fun. Uh, what are we making? Vegetas. 
in crutches. Stop it, you. He's trying to get off of my skin. Yeah, well, he wants the blood. Move over. Ha ha, touched it. So you just, you get them, you get them hooked onto you and then you just take your, your hook and work it through them. Okay. And then you're done. Like, you don't let them latch, fully latch on. That's the most not. Oh, Ooh, two of them. Yeah. I smell yummy. You need to work on that. You. We also took a trip to the boxcar, had dinner at boxcar this time. Really good bang bang shrimp. And I'm telling you the secret there, because I normally don't have mac and cheese. Get the mac and cheese, the green chili mac and cheese. Um, I think we put a little, we put bacon and chicken in the green chili mac and cheese. Phenomenal, absolutely yeah. delicious. Well, they had the green chili mac and cheese and they had the boxcar mac and cheese as yes. well. And I don't know exactly the difference, but both of them I were got the boxcar and it had more veggies. It was more like a Mediterranean mac and cheese. If you could make mac and cheese Mediterranean, <laughs> I think there was spinach and tomatoes and stuff. It was also really good. Really excellent if you add a little hot sauce in it. But yeah, awesome time again at Lake McConaughey. Beach is great, water's great, the camping is good. Very cool at night. We had no need for an air conditioner at night. The breeze was blowing right through the camper, stayed very comfortable. Um, just an awesome time. Great time with friends and family this time as well, and good times. It was fantastic. <laughs> it was fantastic. So if you're in Nebraska or you're close to Nebraska and want a sandy bottom uh, lake, this is the place to go. There are campgrounds that have full and complete hookups, but if you are able to go and uh, boondock or dry camp, you wanna be on the beach. Um, Dale installed a couple of extra solar panels, life changing difference for us. Like we only had to run the generator twice, I think. Yeah, one was to make coffee. One was to make coffee. <laughs> because I, I wimped out and instead of doing it, the percolator, I wanted to use the, the uh, K cup, but. Yeah, no generator usage with the solar kept up great. Starlink, fantastic. Solar panel kept up with that. So internet, you know, it is glamping. Internet, TV, <laughs> and you're 30 feet from the beach, 30 feet from the water. Way to go, Starlink. Yeah. If you're in Nebraska, you also wanna keep an eye on the weather because it's normal for thunderstorms to pop up. So keep your eye on the sky a little bit. Make sure your phones are set to there. Um, we just had a couple of rainstorms. I think we had a thunderstorm one afternoon. Um, didn't get severe where we were, but you know, just keep an eye on the weather because in the afternoon, sometimes you do have to take, go into the camper. If you were in a tent, some of those, the thunderstorm came before we got here and I think it cleared out every tent in the entire beach. So like I said, um, Chris the tractor guy will pull your trailer down, but you're gonna have to drive yourself down to the beach. Or walk. Or walk, you could do that as well. There is parking up at the top. If you do drive down, I highly recommend you air down your tires. We usually run about 80 pounds of pressure when we're pulling the trailer, and I dropped it all the way down to 25 pounds. It just gives you a hell of a lot more traction in the sand. <laughs> um, you still may get stuck, especially if you're helping someone else get unstuck, like I did. But uh, bring a friend and air down your tires. Best way to come to the beach. Some people have fun getting stuck and unstuck. That's true. After the second or third time, it gets kind of old, though. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for watching you guys. Um, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and we're on our way to a thousand subscribers. We're pretty close right now, just less than 200 away. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you enjoy our videos, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and help us get to that goal. Yep. And check out our other Lake McConaughey videos. Mm -hmm. Pretty fun. Oh, we're also now on Rumble. Same videos, different sites. So if you're a Rumble watcher, thanks for watching. See you guys. four days before what the doctor said. <laughs>
It's in the catfish family. They may be from the same tree of fish, but... Yeah, it's like saying the catfish is a fish, the bullhead's a fish. They're both fish. I think they're both species of catfish. I am agreeing with you. Please, she was the best damn woman that I ever seen. So exciting. Now, it was a technicality that you could get in the water yesterday. We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> so.